Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Done chief building action. Alright, people, I'm on a roll. I've got all this stuff over here ready to paint. Okay, I got both my wings, got both my stabs, I got my canopy and my hatch. I got to do a little spot priming. Uh, someone asked me all that priming and filling, ain't I filling up my panel lines? Oh, them wings, I just put uh, one coat of one light coat of primer, and then where I needed to fill on the leading edge. You know, I, I covered up a couple on the leading edge. I could get them back with some panel line tape and some more primer, but. Uh, this is the prototype. I just want the quick, easy paint job, you know. And uh, see this? I just sanded it. And uh, my filler. Now I'll just spot prime in where my filler is. And uh, I'm not really adding a whole bunch of primer. You know. And uh, my fuselage don't need much at all. But where I did have to fill over my panel line. I just took my screwdriver. This screwdriver works perfectly. It's the, it's the right width, you know. And when that bondo is wet, right there on the panel line, I just, just go right across it when it's still wet. Room, room. And then when I sand it, I don't lose my panel lines. Notice that one right there in the center. Well, my seam for my fuselage is off center a little bit. Now I'm not going to lose that seam running straight down the center. You won't be able to find the seam in this fuselage, you know. And I had a couple air bubbles down in here on fill, and uh, there's really not a whole lot on this fuselage. Got to hit the seam up top. Got a couple little bubbles right there, and uh, flip it over and get the bottom. And hopefully, I might be able to squirt some paint this afternoon. I know I ain't made a whole lot of videos in this sanding and priming but you guys seen so much of that in the, the plug stage that's really the only trick you know just use that when you're filling when that bondo's wet right after you're done spreading it on there just take that and like this seam right here I won't have to do this one because my rudder's on top of it so just drag it right across like that bam you got your panel on back you know then if you do run into a couple places where you lost it. All you got to do is put a piece of tape across it and uh, do a little bit more primer, sand it, put tape off, blender in, and you get it right back. That's the deal. That is the deal. Now I'm going to mix up a little primer. I've seen a couple little flat spots up in here. We'll get this paint in a day or two. Now, Bill, <laughs> I got to been doing a little research on them shark teeth, and I want you to know something. You owe me big time, brother. <laughs> that is not going to be easy to paint. But I'm going to figure out a way to do it. Let me show you guys so you can do it. But I noticed there's two different kinds. There's some uh, teeth. Some people sent me in a couple pictures that actually wraps all the way around the bottom like a P40. And I think this one would be a lot easier. You see it just runs into a panel line there and I, I kind of like this one better myself. Um, I don't know, I need to pick a plane. Oh, Joe, Felix, my buddy. <laughs> I'll show you guys what he sent me later. <laughs> you know I need a model for briefing and debriefing, don't you? It's pretty cool, but let's get a shout out to Joe J. What's up, my brother? But anyway, he sent me some pictures from, uh, they went to an air museum there in Northern California. And uh, he sent me some pictures of one that's got the wraparound teeth. But them teeth are going to be hard to paint. Uh, 
tell you that much right now. <laughs> I can't believe God's making me do it, but no. I'm just a kid. You just mix up a little bit of Bondo at a time. Bam, see I went across that panel line. Alright. Just as soon as you're done spreading. Put that knife right there and that screwdriver right there. Bam. You see that? See that? Bam, now when I sand that, that panel ought to be there. Not a big deal. But I noticed a few places here and there. Just little blemishes. I think what that was caused by, we did this, laid this up in the heat of the summer. And I was sweating really bad. I think it's, it's just a few places. It's got like a a weird, uh, weird little flat spots or something. And I bet you that's what it's caused from. You know, all this is pretty much under that vertical stab, so I ain't gonna wear sweat none of the panel on or nothing. I get me an arf sitting here and it's almost done. <laughs> Most of you guys get an arf and your project just started. <laughs> Fill the mirror bubbles right there and then lift that up. Bam. Across that seam, see that? My seam runs this way. Bam! Oh, once I get that sanded, you're gonna say what seam? 